So today we're going to explain how you can play with your friends for entirely free in Minecraft. So if you're hyped, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's get straight into this. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to want to create a custom profile up here. Next thing, you're going to call this, I don't know, like server profile. It's something pretty simple. There we go, server profile, something simple like that. We're going to use version 1.17.1. We're going to go to fabric and it's pretty simple like that. Now we're going to create this new profile. It's going to install it for us. Now after this, we're going to go into this profile. We're going to go to these three dots over here into here and untick use system memory settings. This isn't obligated, but it's rather a good idea to do so because you're going to need to have a lot more memory if you're hosting this server with your friend. Now just bear in mind your friend will have to install the same mod pack to join you in the same world. I'm going to set this up to 12,320 megabytes because my system can handle it. I would recommend around about five or six depending on your guys' system however much RAM it has. Now I'm going to click on done and over here it says fabric API. Now on this server profile what we're going to do is we're going to click on the three little dots and we're going to click on open folder. Now on this folder thing over here what you're going to do is you're, double, you're going to double click on the mods one and we're going to install the mod from Spark Universe. Okay so over here what you're going to do is you're going to already have the links in the description for this, but uh, if the link doesn't work, it's all on the essentials. It's all on the essentials page on the Spark Universe YouTube channel. So if you go to Spark Universe, you go to Spark Universe over here. By the way, if you're not subscribed, subscribe because he's cool. They're cool. They are cool. Go to the community section and type or press this link over here and this will bring you to their page. Now you're going to click on the versions over here and the 1.17.1 fabric. Now this is going to quickly install the file onto your desktop folder and from there you're going to be able to drag this into your mods folder over here and then go back to here and it says essential utilities. Don't worry about this version incompatibility thing, it works perfectly fine, it just says that for some reason and I have no clue why. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press on play and what it's going to do is it's going to open up this Minecraft launcher over here. And you're pretty much done. All you have to do is log into your Minecraft if you haven't already and it'll just work. Now click on play over here and click on I understand the risks and click on OK. Now of course you can add any other mods you want to this mod pack. If you want to add for instance Optifabric and Optifine it'll work perfectly fine as long as the other person that's going to join your game has at least got Essentials Utilities and the non-client side mods, which means if you have Optifine, it'll work fine if he doesn't or if, your other per if the other person doesn't, but if you don't have Optifine and you have, for instance, Tinker's Construct, they're going to need to have Tinker's Construct to join your world. Now once your game loads, it should pop up with this sort of looking screen here. It's absolutely normal to begin with, it doesn't respond. Um, but it will come up with this red screen in a second and there we go Mojang Studios and it'll essentially just load up the mod pack for you that you've created. Now click on next next and I accept the terms of service and the privacy policy. I'm 13 years old plus and click on done. Now I'm 15 so I can actually load this up. I'll be absolutely fine. It's not illegal. So as you can see this is very annoyingly reset the game um, but you can change all the settings that you want later, that's all fine, but here it says friends, which is a completely new section, where if you want to add a friend, you just click on the plus up here, and you just click on new friend, and now here you can add any friend that you want. For instance, you want to add, I don't know, uh, Sunday. You can add Sunday here if you want, or for instance, you want to add, I don't know, you want to add um, Henry. There you go, that was the wrong Henry. But you can add anybody you want as long as you click on the plus on a new friend here. So that's absolutely great. Now the next thing that you have to do is you have to create a single player world. So I'm going to put it in creative mode with cheats on because you might need these cheats to begin with. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, tutorial. Now this will load up a brand new world, completely single player, right? And you can actually invite your friend from another house, another network, anywhere around the world to your single player world 
as long as they're in your friends list. Okay, so now that this world is up and the game is a little bit laggy for some reason, I think all the settings are off, but you can actually go to here and you should have an invite friends. If you don't, go to options and go to essential settings. And over here, it should say invite friends. Add an extra button to the pause menu, allowing essential friends to join your world. If you click on this and make it green, it'll come up with this invite friends button on the main game menu. So then you click on invite friends it says this world would be hosted through your internet your host ip will be visible through network logs do you want to proceed you click on next and then as long as you do this with someone that you trust it's all good now game mode you can set this to survival or whatever game mode you want i'm going to put it to creative or survival let's put it on survival there we go Difficulty, let's put it peaceful, and let's put sheets on or off. As of course, you can put the settings however you want for this. Then we click next, and it says none of your friends appear to be online, but you can invite any of your friends if you want to this world, and they'll be able to join whenever you're online, as long as they're invited. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. But now I'm gonna show you guys me actually playing with my friend with this mod. We just played some normal 1.17 Minecraft. It was really cool. Let's make a let's play. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> I see a cactus. Come here. Come here. Where, 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 are you, where are you at? I don't know. I'm at the beginning of the water. Oh. <laughs> I, I just got some wood. Okay, let's, let's get some resources and meet up with each other later. No, I'm in creative. Oh. Ow. Wait, I've turned off so many. <laughs> um, oh, yes! This is misty! In no world should Minecraft water be misty! That is sick! What about lava? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> lava's only good at dark. Lava's only good at what? Wait, why is my dark. screen going red? Wait. Did you put oh. lava? There's fire. You put lava. You put lava. You maniac. So I've never played 1.17. I'm gonna get some hate for that. But I've never actually played 1.17. You haven't? I've never. Huh. Weird. I can't craft with this internet. <laughs> this is so incredibly slow. Oh my goodness me. Oh, you you bag of bags. Okay, so where do you want to go? Where do I want to go? Yeah. I don't have a smeg. Um, uh, up here on this mountain to get this coal right now, because that's coal textures. They changed the textures of coal in 1.17? Oh, now I, now I get what, why you have not played. That looks... kinda ugly. Have you have you seen, like, uh, um, iron? No. What, has like, iron changed yeah. as well? Have they changed all the ores? Yeah. Um, when you mine... Iron. iron. Oh, it did work. Josh is here. Hi, when Josh! Undead. Ah. He's dead, I, we know.